Hi guys, welcome back to the second episode of Junk Journal with me. So this is a little series that I'm showing you guys how I work in my junk journal. So the first thing I'm doing is just showing you guys the bits and pieces that I have. So I've got some photos, I've got a flower that's kind of half pressed and um, some Mother's Day stuff that I want to put into my junk journal. So the first thing I usually do is just flick through the pages and try and find a page that I want to work with. So as I've said before, I don't always just work from front to back. Sometimes I like to choose a page that is kind of speaking to me <laughs> for one reason or another. I kind of feel the need to work on it. Maybe I like the pattern or the type of paper that is on that page. So today I'm choosing this page to work with. And then I'm kind of just going through my ephemera that I have from that week or so and going through my photos and kind of narrowing down which ones I'm going to use. And then this is a little flower, um, which is actually a weed <laughs> that my son picked for me when I picked him up from preschool last week. So I wanted to keep it and put it in my journal. And so I got these little bits of acetate. Well, it was one sheet and I cut it in half. And then I just washied the little flower to it and stapled those two pieces together so that the flower was in between. And I would have really, really liked to have sewn around this because I think that would have looked really cool. But I've, I'm just not a very good sewer. I always jam my machine up. So I just decided to use my stapler. And the reason I wanted to put this flower in between the acetate this time was just because it hadn't been pressed for very long and I didn't really know how it was going to um, dry out or deteriorate. And so I thought if it was in between the acetate, then if it starts to kind of like, I don't know, leave little marks on the pages, this will kind of just preserve it a little bit better. So you saw me fussing around with a little bit of scrap paper. I wanted to create this as an extra little page and the first bit of paper I decided not to use because I didn't want to cut into it. But this scrap paper, um, I'm, I was happy just to cut. And I'm just using some washi tape first to stick the flower on. So as you can see, I just kind of cut like a little window out of the top and the edge of that bit of scrap paper because I wanted to create like a little window um, page. So I wanted there to be a section on this little tip-in or extra little page where you could see through to the next page behind it. So by using washi tape and staples I just attached it to that bit of scrap paper and then I'm just going to attach it into the book with some more washi tape. I usually like to use a thicker washi tape whenever I'm adding extra pages um, or tip-ins just because I feel like it's going to be a little bit stronger and um, it just seems to hold it a little bit better. So once I got that page on, I just kind of started working around my photos. I have this photo of my son at, not the beach, it's like a lake near our house and we were just playing in the sand as the sun went down one afternoon. So I just cut that photo down a little bit and then I'm just using some double-sided tape to stick it to the page, but I left the top of that photo unstuck because I wanted to be able to slip something behind it. And I actually just slipped in a shopping list from Mother's Day. We made our own um, pita bread pizzas and so this was our little shopping list from Mother's Day and then I had this little piece of wrapping paper from my son's present from Mother's Day so like a present they they put together at preschool for the mums and it just it was just like butcher's paper but it had his name on it so I just kept that tiny little piece of it um, so I just cut that down and then I'm just going through my stuff and pulling out anything that I think might work with this page. A couple of journal cards, little frames and stuff like that. Um, just kind of to see where things are going to fit. 
and yeah just playing around usually if I don't know straight away what I want to do or where I want to stick something I'll just move along onto what I do know and then the rest just kind of falls into place after that so I did want to stick this little journal card beside the flower because it was titled details and I thought that that really worked well with um, my journaling about the flower so I stick this beside again with double-sided tape I have to get myself another glue stick this week because mine ran out so I've just been using mostly double-sided tape um, in my journal and wet glue which you see me using here on the little bit of wrapping paper so I just kind of stuck those on the little fold out page and then just went in with washi tape to kind of fill in the gaps and I think it looks quite cool so I'm really happy with how that turned out this is an envelope like a junk mail envelope kind of just save any that have windows because they're fun to use in your journals and I actually was doing some painting earlier that day and had some leftover blue paint so I didn't want to throw the paint away so I painted the envelope and then I decided to use it in my journal so at first I was thinking this would make a cute little pocket for this frame piece if I put a picture of my other son on it wearing his little monkey pajamas and so I'm just kind of trimming down the picture to stick onto that pretty little frame and then I'm just kind of seeing how that's going to look as it peeks through the window so I stuck him on with double-sided tape again and then I actually end up deciding not to put him in this little pocket and sticking him on the back side of that little extra tip in that I created instead and I end up using this little um, pocket to hold a little prompt sheet like you know those prompt sheets that you get for Mother's Day that will like they'll ask your kids questions about their mum and it's all filled in in your ch in your child's words so I put that into the envelope and then I was just playing around with some scrap paper kind of just seeing what I was going to do next and since I was a little bit unsure I decided to go back to the envelope and start decorating it just with washi tape so a little bit of floral washi tape I stuck it over the edge of the page and it's another little tip in or a little fold out And then I just added a little bit more washi tape um, along the top and bottom of that envelope just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more and um, it kind of reinforced the top edge as well where I had cut. And then I begin to work on the page behind that. So this is a little bit of scrap paper which I just trimmed down and I just really liked the floral print on it so I wanted to stick it onto this page where I'm going to journal and then I just end up sticking the other photo of my son down on that little tip in and using some washi tape down the center just so that it can uh, open and close without getting stuck couple of little staples to reinforce that picture and then I'm going to start working on the back side of this envelope so just using some washi tape again on the top and bottom of it and then I have this uh, journal card which is really cute it says cultivate the habit of being grateful so I glued that on there as well and then and pulling out my stickers so I think after I put the stickers on the page I just do my journaling and I actually didn't get to film my journaling because I ran out of daylight it was a really gloomy day and it started to get really dark and I didn't realize and yeah so there's no footage of me actually writing but you will see at the end a little 
flip of the finished page with all of my journaling on the page. So yeah, you'll get to see the finished page in a minute. Um, but yeah, just adding a couple of stickers to finish off the spread. So really simple page. This is what it ended up looking like in the end, just with my journaling and a couple of extra little scribbly lines around some photos and stuff. And yeah, so that is the page. I hope you guys enjoyed this process video and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.